Hey, it's Patrick Grosser with the 513 Flat Fee Real Estate Group at Fathom Realty. You may have heard about our full service flat fee listings through a postcard in your mailbox recently. We'll talk more about those in just a second, but first we're going to look at the Cincinnati real estate market news for 2023 year to date and compare that to 2022 year to date. First of all, new listings are down 20%, closings are down 34%, average sale price is up almost 6%, average days on market is at 20 days. Total inventory is at 84 days, while active inventory is at 48 days. It is still a seller's market, but not as hot as it was earlier this year. So if you want to net the most money when you sell your home, you need a more sophisticated marketing approach, but you don't have to pay a 6% commission to get that. It actually comes standard with our full service flat fee listings. Visit our site at 513flatfee.com to learn more about our service and to find out how you can net the most money when you sell your home. If you've been paying attention to the real estate industry news lately or watching any of my videos or reading some of my blog posts recently, you've probably heard about the major real estate commission lawsuit in Missouri, uh, where the jury found the National Association of Realtors and major brokerages guilty of conspiracy to inflate real estate commissions. Before that verdict was ruled uh, recently, there was also a couple major brokerages that paid tens of millions of dollars each in a settlement rather than going to trial. Um, so there's been money paid out in those settlements and there's money promised to be paid out in those damages uh, due to that guilty verdict if the appeals by those companies and the National Association of Realtors is not successful. Um, so we don't, we're not going to see any result of that for probably a few years if that uh, due to the length of the appeals process. But it's no surprise why we start to see some of these copycat lawsuits popping up. We're seeing them in Texas, in South Carolina, in New York. We all expect in the industry here to continue to see these lawsuits pop up all across the country. There's no reason to not expect that because there were some settlements paid out. There was a guilty verdict. Even if we disagree with the ruling there or the settlements, um, there's no reason to believe that these lawsuits will stop because obviously home buyers and sellers and their class action lawyers are seeing that there's an opportunity to cash in on this, right? Um, and so until that stops, until there's some unfavorable rulings against the plaintiffs in favor of the defendants uh, or the uh, brokerages or associations stop uh, paying out settlements, we're not going to really see this slow down anytime soon. But if you're not a real estate professional, if you're just buying or selling a home or you simply own a home and you try to keep tabs on the real estate industry just to be informed, you don't really have to worry about all this stuff. Uh, chances are nothing's going to change here for at least a few years. Uh, maybe some industry practices will change, maybe some of the verbiage in the listing Contracts will change to make it even more clear what's going on with how real estate commissions are paid and why they're done that way. There may be additional disclosures uh, that you may have to sign as a buyer or seller to make sure you understand what's going on. There may be a change fundamentally to the way that buyer agents commissions are paid. Currently, if you don't know, they're paid by the seller um, and that is something they consent to in their listing agreement. It may happen in the future that uh, buyer agent commissions have to be paid by the buyer. But in the immediate future and for non-real estate professionals, if you're just a homeowner or you're buying or selling, it's not going to affect your experience. It's not going to impact the supply and demand of the market. It's not going to affect home values or anything like that. It's just going to be industry practices affecting professionals in the future. And again, those changes, if there are any, may be a few years off. There may be some additional tweaks or disclosures, changing of wording and contracts. But again, as a consumer, that doesn't really affect you whatsoever. If you have any questions about how real estate commissions work, why they're structured the way they are, why real estate agents are paid as much as they are, how that all works, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to have a conversation to discuss those issues with you. And if you're looking to buy or sell a home or maybe do both here in the near future and you want some help navigating the real estate market, making sure that you reach your real estate goals to the utmost potential, I'd be happy to help with that as well. The best way to get in touch is to visit our website at 513flatfee.com. Click one of the links there to schedule the call so we can set aside some time dedicated to assessing your needs and mapping out a game plan for how we can help you to achieve your real estate goals. I'm Patrick Grosser with the 513 Flat Fee Real Estate Group at Fathom Realty.